the number one seed in the South bracket. Virginia about to take on UMBC. Behind the back, Sherbert sets up the long shot, and it's a six-point lead. He'll load it up, he'll put it up, and he'll hit it again. We lost to a 16 seed. I mean, it's the first time in history. The underdog beat the top seed. Miles will put it up from the wing. Three more. Miles driving in. Left hand. And now the lead is up to 16. It was an amazing run by UMBC. The momentum, the energy. Been all UMBC. As a basketball fan, just sitting back, I was happy for that team because you could really just tell the community and how much it really meant to them, and, and they just had a spirit about them that it didn't matter who they were going to play. What has happened to Virginia? Front of the corner, three more by Lamar. It was really hard to deal with that loss because number one, it's never happened before, and number two, we thought that we really had a legit shot at winning a title. Exclamation. That's oh. about 10 exclamation yeah, points. Late. This has got to be tough for this proud program. So it's a great story, but at the end of the day, anyone can win. They came out and played better than us, and they deserved it. The NCAA tournament has been turned upside down. It's tough to see a team like Virginia go down. They, they put a lot of work into that season and had a great year. Shock and awe in college basketball. UMBC makes history. When history does happen, you remember it, and you remember where you're at, and, and you remember the finer points of that moment. Then you, as a coach, you hope it sure doesn't happen to you. The biggest surprise is that it took this long for a 16 to beat a one. The parity in college basketball is at an all-time high. That just shows how close the gap is from you know mid-majors to high majors. It's great for the sport, but as a coach, I felt for Tony Bennett. We got our butts whipped. That was not even close. We make history by being the first one seed to lose. I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of people will be happy about that, and it stings. If it had to happen to someone, you know, it happened to the guy who would handle it with the most grace and most dignity. Trying to tell the guys in there, you know, this is life. It can't define you. You enjoyed the good times, and you got to be able to take the bad times. When you step into the arena, the consequences can be historic losses, and you have to deal with it. That loss definitely strengthened the team's bond and chemistry. We're closer than we've ever been. You know, we're owning it, and it's part of our story now.